Hello everybody, welcome back to Fix Your City with me, Biffa. Here we are in a city sent in by Velocity. And let's just have a look at the figures for the traffic. 22%, yeah, 21%. It is dropping as we look at it. And if we just zoom out a bit, we can see how bad things are in this city. Oh my goodness me. Traffic, traffic, more traffic, traffic everywhere. There's traffic coming in the city. We can see down this road here. It comes in through the toll bridge. Let's just do a quick follow through and see where it's all going. So this bit's okay. Okay, this is calling out for a roundabout to keep things moving there, but we'll come back to that. Now, I know that uh, Velocity has done a lot of the traffic manager and stuff. What have we got going on? We've got that cargo area cars coming past coming out of there and everyone is stopping here okay right let's just have a quick look at this this area here needs to be sorted doesn't it because it's all sort of hawky borky all over the place let us oh you've got no electricity anyway what's happening with your electricity i think we're okay we're making plenty good okay so let us move this hospital out of the way and we want to get this moving down here so i'm just wondering whether and why is this road so thin so this road here certainly needs to be upgraded i would i would even is that only one lane each way it is let's change this road here give them some more lanes some more space and just see if we can get this moving with a bit of old-fashioned vanilla road fixing let's do that let's do that okay now we have some more lanes this here definitely needs more lanes coming out of there because we've got left and straight on so we do a bit of lane management uh that way okay good all right don't all disappear how dare you? Let us do some of the lane fixing stuff here. So I want only you to go ahead there. And I want only you to go around here like that. So now we can split up and use the two lanes. And in fact, we could probably just upgrade that bit to there. So when they come out, they can... Oh, wrong way around. They can pick which lane they want. Look, we've changed this road at the end. And already that traffic has all gone down there, which is fantastic. But we want to work on these guys coming in. Let's just check your roundabout here to make sure that it's all set up correctly. Um, no, you haven't got all the correct giveaway signs and things in. So let's do that first. And then this one here. So we don't want the people coming in, continuing through a block junction because there's so much traffic. I'll, I'll add that to the end. If you don't have a load of traffic, feel free to put both of those on. When you've got a load of traffic, you just want what's on the roundabout to go and to move freely. Well, we'll leave that running for a bit. Now that that is set up correctly, you might find that that can sort of solve a bit of the issue going on there and then get these guys moving. Now, this bit here is sort of getting blocked, mm, which is then blocking up as we saw everybody coming off of the highway up here and everything. Let's just quickly check this roundabout up here. So I think I am going to add in another little roundabout just to get things moving smoothly. Uh, we don't want that one. Yeah, just here because there's so much traffic coming and these guys turning up here are stopping these guys coming out it means we're going to lose a couple of farm buildings but i don't think that is the end of the world so again if we give that a bit of time that should hopefully get everything moving nicely and let these guys get through but we'll have to come back and take a look at that in a moment so then these will come down here. Uh, let's have a look what's going on here. They're all stopping at the corner here when they don't need to. Move to you two. They're sort of seeing it as a junction. So if we do that and just keep that going. Oh, it is. It's three lanes going into two lanes. That's why it's an issue. Right, okay. Well, this road's going to be downgraded up here. There we go. Let's do that. And then we'll say no lane switching in this corner. Again, a situation where more lanes doesn't help. There we go. Getting to pick their lane. I might even say no lane switch in there. By the way, Shift S does the no lane switch in. Yeah, and then get them to pick their lane when they come in here instead. So we'll pick that and say pick your lane. Good, good, good. And then hopefully this will all keep moving a bit better. How's the traffic here? Look at this. Look at this. Traffic here, remember, was backed up all the way up here. Oh, that's all clean. This is all moving. Uh, don't have dead ends like this not connected because you're taking away the option for someone to go up and turn around and come back with that around so now they can go up turn around and come back if they want so look at that no more traffic going out of the city this is clear what are we at what are we at 51 percent fan dabby dozy that's clear this is clear this is clear which means all things can start moving a bit better 
This is clear. That can keep moving. This can keep moving. And give it some time. And this will keep moving. You, oh, look. This is all backed up. Do you know what? I might actually put those traffic lights back in there. Oh, shock horror. I really want to put a roundabout there. But I'm not. I'm going to do that instead. Let's just make sure the giveaway signs aren't there. Yeah. And we'll let that go a bit. You've got a lot of dead end. There's a lot of traffic. Look, all of this, all of this is all coming out of that one junction there, which is really bad, which has got no other access. Oh, auto save, quit sip of tea. So as well as the cargo station, you've got another large warehouse. You've got all of these guys trying to bring all of their crops and stuff in and out. That is just too much to be going out of this little road here. And something else I've just noticed, if we zoom out... This is your highway road coming through here. And then this is supposedly a highway coming through here. <laughs> What's going on with this bit of road there? Very interesting. And your highway goes through here and hits this roundabout. So anybody wants to just go straight over. Yeah, so you haven't really got a proper highway sort of going down here. You've got like a bypass road. That's only one lane, isn't it? Here. So actually, this roundabout could do with and you've got an underground road here as well where the heck does that go that joins over there and it's like a massive big road okay so this really could do with being a proper junction to keep these people moving let's just have a quick look where they're all going by using the in-game tool if we select that one and select that road there yeah so a lot of them are just going up the highway here look but they have to stop at the roundabout Shall we rebuild that junction? What do you reckon? Or shall we try and put a little teeny tiny bypass in? <laughs> Let's just delete that. You just really don't you really don't need that going on like that. Let's get this going up to there. Let's get that going down to there. There you go, you're sorted. And then when you do something like this, joining that up, you want to make sure that people aren't going around the corner. So you go, you go there, you go there, and you go there, and then these will be the same. You go there. Woo! So that's much better. Um just checking actually along here. You haven't done your lane management and your lane mathematics. Let us quickly do that. So three lanes, one lane off down to two. Another lane comes back on back to three. One lane goes off down to two. This lane comes back on back to one. It's the same the other side. And then we want to help these guys and girls to merge and not cut across the lane. So we'll do that, that and that. And then the same here when they come back on again. See, that guy's cutting across, getting in people's way. There we go. That's just going to help. Oh, I hate it when you can't. Look, I'm clicking right on it. And it won't let me get it. So that's going to do that. This side actually isn't too busy. So I won't bother with that side. And we've got going the other way as well. I'm just going to do the lane mathematics rather than the lane management. Because that's not so busy. So, yeah, that's fine. So then these come along here. And then, oh, we've got exactly the same on this junction. So let's do that, 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 and that. And then do the same where the guys are coming on. There we go. And the other directions aren't too busy, so I won't bother with that. Okay, so I've done the little bypass going up here. I want to make this more attractive than this. And we've got the speed coming down here of 100 miles an hour. This is only 80 up here. I might just change all of this bit round here. So 80 round there. I'm going to change that to 80, and then I'm going to change the little uh, bypass road, whatever you want to call it, up here to 100. And just see whether more people take that. So we've done the lane mathematics again, three down to two, one goes off. And then when it comes back on, we did the lane management here. And I'm hoping more people... There we go. Look at that. Look, people are diving up here and going that way. Okay, so this is a perfect example of where fixing traffic can sometimes move the traffic... Uh, issues around your city in different directions so when we were fixing up this uh, junction here before and doing our lane mathematics and i did the lane management people coming on i turned it 90 degrees and said we won't do this way because we don't need it but then the traffic has all sort of changed and they're all doing weird hoggy borky things along here so i've had to change it coming this way as well just to try and help them out and we'll check this junction this one's not too bad that's still moving freely if this isn't enough to get all of this traffic moving through here i will Will replace that most definitely let's move on to another part of the city and we'll just see what else we can do to help let us have a look at this little bit over here what have we got going on so they're all sort of heading out what's our traffic by the way 45 percent. okay first things first let's make the roundabout round there we go gotta do that let's have a look and make sure the roundabout's been set up correctly 
probably okay, 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 and okay. All of these roads are all coming through this junction, this junction, and this junction onto here, which is really bad. You really just want to give them some other options as well. You've just got to give people as many options as possible to get in and out, because otherwise, that's what happens. So look, we've got these great big roads here. Let's just put a couple of slip lanes and different things on here. And then like that, just to give them a way in and a way out. That is probably, whoa, that is far too high. Let's just drop that down a bit. So they can get in and out over here as well. That's going to give them more options. What else can we do? We could add a little road across here and maybe a mini roundabout to help them get in and out. And then we're going to add a little roundabout in here because I know a lot of the traffic is going to come that way. So let's just, that's probably big enough. Let's go like that. And then hopefully some of these will start coming that direction. And here we go. This is the little change that I put in place. So we've got the roundabout here. I've used some of that nice thicker, four, uh, thinner four lane road that I use quite a lot. And I've made this like a little mini, not a roundabout as such, but it comes in there, goes one way down here. You can then come out and join the highway. And then this way comes in instead. So this comes down, goes up and goes around. Um, yeah, and that works much better. And then if you want to come down there, go around the roundabout and back again. So that's cleared up all the traffic here. We've got this one road connecting here, which is like four lanes. This is four lanes going through here. There's a few cars sort of waiting at the moment, but... I don't know what we're going to do. It's just we're going to make that a priority road going through the middle like that. So they can come down, go straight through, head onto the roundabout, and then keep on moving through the city. And that is much, much better than it was before. And I've moved all your services away from this big main area here. What are you doing there? Ah, you've got some bus lines and things which are holding everybody up. Might not be a good idea to have your bus lines right there. I'm hoping people are clever enough to go past those but uh, i'm also going to turn off parking turn off parking and turn off parking there we go so hopefully once all these people are picked up and things can keep moving along yeah that'll be fine very good so another area sorted okay i've absolutely had it with this junction look it is just blocking up all of this all of this all of this that which is causing all of that so yeah this junction here is gonna have to go I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to put in there yet. Um, I do have a nice little list of intersections and junctions and things. So I'm going to have a look through this and see if I can find a nice small one. Mm, yeah, a bit too big maybe. A nice small one that will fit in there that will solve our problems for us. So let me have a look and I'll be back with you. Right, I looked everywhere for a junction that would fit into here, thinking of some sort of turbo interchange or something like that. And I've ended up settling on this normal raised sort of roundabout. The highway goes straight through underneath. We've got the lane mathematics, three lane, one lane off, goes down to two, all that sort of thing. I've got the lane management on the end here as well. To help the cars come out and merge, we've got that there and we've got that this end here as well. I've just got to connect up the railway lines again and then we'll be good to go. Okay, let's unpause this and see whether all this traffic dies down from up there you can see it goes all the way back up to there and let's put it on fast speed and just take a look i've done all the the giveaway signs and all that sort of thing on here as we should uh, annoyingly these two junctions are quite close there but we were running out of space to fit this thing in so hopefully not everybody's going to want to come up there what i don't want to see is people coming up there and then going straight off the other side that would be a bit of a bummer yeah, so let's just leave this running and hopefully we're going to see all of this traffic die down quite quickly. Okay, let's go past the mooing cows and take a little look at this intersection after a few, uh, I was going to say Minecraft days have passed, after a few City Skylines days have passed and look at that. Things are moving smoothly. Not too much coming out of this one. Now that this, even though all of this area comes up this road here, I've added this little extra road connecting this area with this area and it's spreading out the traffic a bit. As you can see, this roundabout is pretty clear. We do get a bit of traffic coming up here from time to time, but it keeps moving. This junction is free in both directions. This junction is free in both directions. And this roundabout is moving freely up here as well, which is 
has pretty much solved any of the problems in this area up here because it was all coming down, hitting this and causing problems. But that has all been solved, which is fantastic. And let's take a look at the area where we first started. Look at that. Let's put it on this mode. Then we can see absolutely clear. A little bit of red where they're coming into the city, but that's fine. I'm not going to speed that up. I'll leave it as it is. But everything else in this area, totally clear. Fantastic. So let's find out what we're going to finish up with here. 78%. It was 79 a second ago. It's sort of waving around that. I think that is a pretty good fix. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you leave. And check out the next video as well, which is probably my new city build series, which I'm sure you will enjoy. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for watching. And I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.